ladies and gentlemen. Happy Christmas. It is a delight to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute joy to be for you on this most special of days, uh, an incredible day. A day for us as adults to actually see the world for once through children's eyes. Swimming pools, right? Swimming pools are a good example, right? Of a thing where kids have, to, we've ruined swimming pools as grown ups, and kids have exactly the right. You kids see the swimming pool, they're like, yeah, I can enter at any point, and when I'm in there, I can go whatever direction I want. I'm up and down, I'm left and right, I'm floating, I'm farting, I'm peeing, I'm splashing, I'm doing whatever I wanted to do ever in a zero gravity, frictionless environment. We in our lanes slowly advancing on the wall <laughs> touching the wall and then turning around and going to the other wall the prison yard of the swimming pool experience <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, you know, the worst thing between swimming in the lanes if you're in a hotel somewhere and you're having a little swim and on the other side of that row of coasters, there's a family of kids going bananas with delight and you're there going, no, you're using it wrong. <laughs> That's like the worst thing with swimming in a lane is when somebody else joins your lane. Because <laughs> people don't swim at the same speed because otherwise it wouldn't be a sport. So now you're either slowly catching up with them or they are slowly catching up with you. And Jesus, the tension is unbearable. <laughs> I only came in for 30 minutes of cardio. Now I'm in the bloody hunger game. <laughs> Grown-up life is a tiny variation of stuff you don't care about or stuff you wish you didn't have to know. Like the first time any of us learned that trainers, runners, sneakers, whatever you want to call them, are stitched by eight-year-old children in the third world. And you hear this and you go home to your own eight-year-old and go look at the quality of work <laughs> that these children are producing compared to the rubbish you're bringing back from that school. <laughs> a rocket made out of cardboard tubes. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I can run in these. Do you see that, dear? Yeah. Make me a shoe and I will put it on the fridge. Do we understand each other? <laughs> To bar comment, let me, say, let me say, I'll give you a Christmas story, a genuine Christmas story. I went, uh, a nicer story, I suppose. The, uh, I went about two years ago to buy my wife a Christmas present in one of the major department stores. I mean, legally on these kind of shows, you always have to be really, really careful about naming specific shows. For the sake of argument, we'll call it Selfridges, because it was <laughs> Selfridges. It happened in Selfridges on Oxford Street. And I went into, you know, they've got all these jewellery concessions. And I went into one of those, seemed to buy her a present. And I went, and I'm looking at a necklace and some earrings, and I kind of go, what will I get? What will I, mm, what'll I buy her? Oh. Uh, and eventually I said, I'm going to take the necklace. And I called the woman who said, I'm going to take the necklace, please. And the woman walks up and she goes, oh, no problem at all. Takes the necklace off me to box it and bag it and get it ready as a gift, right? And I'm standing there looking at the earrings that are left, which are part of the same set. And you're kind of going, do you know what? That would make a nicer gift. If I got them as well, they're part of the same set. And God, it's been a long year of travel and work. That would be a lovely thing if we could just do that. So I, when the woman comes over again, I go, I'm also going to take the earrings. And not a word of a lie, the woman in the Selfridges jewellery concession looks at me and genuinely goes, and are these for the same lady? <laughs> and suddenly I am transported to a world of sexual sophistication <laughs> that I am ill-equipped to carry off. Your James Bond type would know what to say at this moment, whereas I'm there going, ah, oh, ah. Mm, could be yours if you play your cards right. <laughs> and you're going, Jesus, does every department of Selfridges do this? If I'm in the home goods department and I go, ah, well, I know I've already bought the Clairol foot spa, but I'm also going to get the Breville sandwich maker as well. <laughs> Are they just trained to go? And is this for the same lady. <laughs> no, I've a bit in the side, and after we have a shag, she loves a ham and cheese toasty. <laughs> May I wish you the happiest of Christmas. It's been absolute delight. Darling, thank you very much. We'll see you again.